Hey guys, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Um, so we haven't really done any work on Detective Leo since. Um, just some small things have happened. I got, I got paid for the uh, <coughs> the monologues I did uh, a couple video videos ago. My manager kind of helped me get like a a little job, just just copying the DVD to DVD, but it's sort of videography sort of uh, that was for ten dollars um, so I got paid for work at my work which felt a bit weird there we go okay um, so what you saw was a gold macro lens um, when I first got it well actually for starters maybe a month ago about the same time probably when I got my stimulus check the owners ha uh, had gotten the coronavirus uh, when I got it it fell apart into like 10 pieces, which you can imagine my expression. But uh, for the most part, I, uh, I feel like I put it back together. There was a extra lens piece and a step up ring and maybe a stopper piece that I couldn't really figure out. Um, but other than that, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if I'll be able to show you any footage because, honestly, uh, it's very, very blurry, and to get anything in frame, you practically have to be touching the lens with the object. So, um, if I can get the outer part to ever get adapted to any of my lenses, that would be really cool because it does seem like it has some really cool red, uh, red lens flare effect. Which brings me to my other filter that I got uh, just yesterday. The uh, Vid Atlantic Metamorph filter. Um, I got that. I didn't get to spend, I guess, a whole lot of time on it, but I couldn't really. I'm still trying to figure out how to. Uh, I'm trying to understand that because, I mean, I, uh, I filmed it a little bit. I might be able to show you some of that. I filmed it a little bit, and uh, you're supposed to de-squeeze it, and um, I end up still have some vignette on the side, so I don't know if I'm going to have to zoom in some more, but even beyond that, which I don't know if it's just because of the type of lens I'm using, because I literally only can use this lens for like all my filters and macros and everything, so this would be the, like the main lens for all the kind of like special effects. Um, because when I, when I went to their website, they said something about it doesn't work really well with soft lenses. Um, which right now, this doesn't look soft. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, the VidAtlantic thing. Sorry. I'm still waking up. The VidAtlantic thing worked with one of my zoom lenses. Okay. And the macro thing works on this lens, and that's all. Okay, so that makes more sense. I was going to say, because this actually does get pretty sharp, so I had to rethink that for a second. Because if it, if it worked with this, then that'd be really great. The funny thing is, this lens without the teleconverter piece that it's, uh, being, that's being used in between the adapter and the uh, lens, um, 
if it didn't have that, it wouldn't have such a, a great sharpness throw. Which, now since I have that, oh my god, this is a really cool lens. Because the, the focus ring is so buttery smooth. And it doesn't have a lo whole lot of throw, which originally was like, ugh, that sucks. But now, it's actually working as an advantage because I can, uh, I can bring like that lens into focus really quick. And then, phew, right to me really quick. If I had a second person, that you would have been able to see that effect a little bit better. But it's kind of hard to show you that while, you know, being the subject. But yeah, uh, I realized that I had rambled much longer than I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. And I'll end up finishing the rambling I did, which will only be less than a minute. And then I'll show you all the coffee footage that I shot at the uh, coffee roaster place. Yeah, I had to get another one of these because the cats uh, get rid of the other one just vanished because the cats, you know, cats are awesome. But yeah, uh, sorry for the rambling. So this is probably another more vloggy video, which I guess is okay. But I assure you there will be some coffee footage on the next one. So if you would be so kind to smash that bell icon. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.